After losing their unbeaten record at Basingstoke Town, the Cards face high-flying Dover Athletic at Cramble. The home side saw their FA Cup run come to an end on Saturday as they were defeated at Huddersfield Town and they rest star players Adam Birchall and John Wallace. Graham Baker makes three changes to his lineup. Moses Alimola and Joe McNerney are preferred to Craig Falkenbridge and Alan Innes, while Jerome Maladon starts in midfield as Joe Keane's loan ended on Sunday. And the cards line up in a 4-3-3 formation. And Woking will get this game underway. A rather bizarre kickoff routine. And Joe McNerney and Sam Cutler have collided there. The latter going down. Here's Joe Maladon and now Aswood Thomas who will put this ball out, I think, as Cutler can receive some treatment. Seem to come off worse in that collision between the two of them. And there's an early substitution here as John Wallace comes on for the home side. Oh, and Jerome maladon has gone in quite high there on Dover's captain, Rob Gilman. Looked a nasty collision. Don't think there was too much malice in it from Maladon. Though perhaps surprising that the referee has chosen not to show any card. And Dean Hill comes on to replace him for Dover here. We've had to make two early substitutions. Thomas giving the ball to Sam Hurrell, despite cries for handball from the Dover faithful. And he goes down under the challenge of Matt Fish, and Wokham will have a free kick. Lee Sawyer will knock it long. Joe McNerney with the header, and that's well cleared by Fish. Hammond still trying to turn that back in. And now Hurrell with the cross back into McNerney with the header. And it's cleared away by Tom Winter. Working with the early chances. McNerney getting up above Flitney. And then almost managing to get another header at goal, but Schultz got the blocking. Ben Hunt with the flick to Sam Long. And he will knock the ball to Donovan Simmons with the effort. Here's Harry Baker on the ball. Trying to get past Aswood Thomas and will win a free kick. Much to the disgust of Thomas. He may well be booked for descent here, I think. Indeed he will. Wallace with the ball out to Baker again. And Thomas goes in with the challenge. That seemed to hit his arm. Dover fans aren't happy with the challenge or the handball appeal, I don't think. Hammond now on the ball. Thomas was already on a booking as well. Here's Baker again. Crosses in and that looked to strike Thomas on the arm, did it? Now Ricketts, now Hurrell. Dover fans are furious. He puts that ball into Elvis Hammond, who goes round Dean Hill. Good chance for Hammond, this is. And he tucks it past Ross Flitney. And Woking go ahead. 31 minutes on the clock. And Elvis Hammond scores his fourth goal in the league for the Cards. And seventh in all competitions. Dover fans aren't happy th thinking this was handball. But from then, it was an excellent goal for Woking. With a super finish from Hammond. First goal came in. Wallace to put this corner into the area. Thomas wins the header, but that almost goes back into his own net. Woking survive. There's Harry Baker on the ball. Scored seven goals in 14 this season. And he goes past Hurrell here. Now takes on Thomas and goes down under the challenge. And the referee will give Dover a free kick in a dangerous position. Thomas already booked. Well, I think that was more Hurrell that caught him, maybe. Wallace with the free kick. Simmons with the header and Dover a level. A quality free kick from John Wallace and Donovan Simmons made no mistake. He scores his second goal for Dover, having joined from Nuneaton Town in December. And that's a top quality header as well. 37 minutes gone and we're all square here. Hurrell with the throw in. Now Hammond, who manages to turn Fish and gets a ball back across, and Ross Flitney does well. Moses Animala was running in. Flitney with the ball forward. Ben Hunt with the header. Now Simmons, knocking the ball back to Wallace, and he will let fly from long range, and that wasn't far away. Excellent strike from Wallace. Andrew Little, I don't think, was getting anywhere near it. Adam Doyle with the ball forward, but Matt Fish 
puts it back over the top of the working defence. Joe McNerney will give chase and he ends up heading the ball back to Andy Little. And that was a bit fortunate. Ben Hunt with the cross. Joe McNerney with the header away. Luke Ianson with the header back into the danger zone. Sam Long with the effort and that's a good save from Andy Little. To be on his toes, the working keeper. And much to Dover fans' delight, Adam Birchall is entering the fray for Ben Hunt. Anson knocks the ball off to Dean Hill, who will come forward. And it will pick out the run of Sam Long, and a good ball it is, and Sam Long tucks the ball away. But wait a minute, the offside flag's up here, that won't count. Long only just realising, much to his dismay, but the assistant referee has judged that to have been offside. Can't tell from the video. <laughs> Sam Horrell with the corner. Joe McNerney with the header. Adam Doyle with the effort, and that's a good stop on the line from Ollie Schultz. Tova getting away with one at the other end this time. Cora causing havoc. Doyle getting the shot away. That's a good block from Schultz. Ball into Adam Birchall. He gets his shot away. Not going to trouble Andy Little that one, but 29 goals this season. An astonishing record. Jerome Maldon coming forward. Knocking the ball into Sam Hurrell. Kianan with the clearance. Moses Animola goes past Winter. And Ricketts gets a flick on it and it ends up with the feet of Hurrell. And he feeds Aswood Thomas. Can he get the cross in? Yes, he can. Oh, and Animola's there and working her ahead. Moses Animola with his third goal of the season. Puts the cards ahead with 20 minutes left on the clock. And that's another great goal from working as well. Two goals where they've broken from one end to the other. Fish plays the ball into Birchall, who does well to turn. And feeds the ball into Luke Kianson. Ball could come back to Simmons with the effort. And that's a poor kick from Flitney. Adi Mola chooses not to shoot. But he does pick out Ricky and Ann on the run. Can the right back pick out someone in the area? He can find Dave Gilroy. Hansen in the challenge. Wallace with the flick. Hansen on the ball still. Plays the ball into Sam Long with the effort. Oh, and that's found the bottom corner. And Dover have an equaliser with seven minutes to go. Long's first goal of the season. And what a strike it is to. Just beating the outstretched glove of Andy Little. Wallace with the corner. As Dover look for a winner, along with the effort. Good save from Little. Wallace with the free kick. Oh, and Hyansen was in there with Little. Marking somehow get it clear. Adimola with the corner, as with Thomas with the effort. Adimola to put it back into the danger zone again. McNerney with the header at the back post. End to end stuff here. Fish with the ball forward. Could come to Simmons now. Doyle gets the clearance in. Dover fans want handball again. Hole knocks it to Jerome Maldon. And now Wokinger on the run here. This is a great chance in injury time. He picks out Moses Animola. What a chance this is. Oh, and he drives it over the crossbar. Falkenbridge and others in the middle. And the final whistle goes here. And Wokinger have come away with a credible draw here at Crabble in a very entertaining football match.